beautiful weekend weather-wise. Yeah, it's a great I, day to be out. Sunshine, uh, just a few clouds. I want to introduce you to a couple of guys. Take a look. Uh -oh. This is Portobello and Paddington. Oh, out very at Lake cute. Baldwin, enjoying the day. Living the life. That's right. Steve Noto sent this picture in. And Steve, I'm, I'm very glad that you took the boys out to enjoy the day. I just look forward to having them meet my Stella. Just so nice out there. You couldn't help but want to get out. And as a matter of fact, it's still just gorgeous. Just a little bit more time before the sun sets. Here's a live look from our uh, Claremont Sky Cam. We're looking over towards Lake Mineola. Just a few clouds off in the distance. We're at 80 degrees currently. Winds still a uh, on the breezy side out of the east northeast at about nine miles an hour. Today made it up to 85 degrees. Average this time of year is 84, right on par with that. But we enjoyed a cooler morning. Made it to 59. Normal is about 66. Now, here's a look at what's going on. Water vapor channel of the satellite showing these orange shades, these rust shades to our north and our south. That's dry atmosphere. The reason we had a few more clouds today is these darker shades. That's a little ribbon of moisture that's kind of been cruising through central Florida today. And that was all courtesy of this cold front, this weak front that passed by nearly unnoticed today. And as it does so, it just reinvigorates our wonderful pattern. So as we look ahead to the forecast then tonight, 76 through 7 o'clock, 72 and comfortable by 9 o'clock. And then the winds begin to calm at 11. That's going to allow uh, some fog to develop, especially in our northern areas this evening. Temperatures should hit the dew point, so we're expecting things to hit about 58 in Ocala. Could see some fog in this corridor, 64 degrees. In the villages, 64 degrees for us in Claremont. As we push over to the metro, 63 Orlando, 63 in Longwood, 63 degrees in Oviedo, pretty popular number, about 65 degrees in Titusville, and 64 outside in Palm Coast. Then tomorrow, back to work, back to school, and back to about average. 80 degrees in Palm Coast, 85 Orlando, 83 degrees in Melbourne. That old front, it stays south tomorrow. High pressure continues to build, but with that onshore flow, rip currents, unfortunately, will be a concern once. Again, out into the Gulf of Mexico, I want to show you this little bubble up of moisture here uh, down in the Bay of Campeche. This is something that could try to develop tropically. Hurricane Center giving it a 30% chance of developing within the next five days' time. Something we'll have to watch closely. Seven day forecast looks like this 85 for tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> Mention of a shower or so, uh, just as a little bit more moisture comes in, but generally speaking, mainly dry, mainly bright.